Yellow everybody! So, we got calves on console, and I think that's pretty new uh, on console. Um, I have to say this is recorded on, what, 26th of July 2023? And it might be in the future when you're watching this that uh, calves is a normal thing, but I'm pretty sure it's a new thing today. I'm on Bally Springs by Irish Connor, Glenger Boy, and Airy Agri Modding. Uh, so on this map here, you have a lot of new animals on console. On PC, we have had these kind of animals for a while. Uh, so on this video, it's more of yeah, like a tutorial, a guide of uh, handling uh, calves. Now we have, um, what is it, three or four different calves, uh, females and males. Uh, so I'm going to try to explain what they need. Uh, will they grow into cows? Will they produce milk? Uh, what kind of food they, they you know, require and those things. And there is a small warning here. Uh, it could be the map. Uh, the map is on its first stage. So it could be that we are going to see an update to it, uh, but you know what, um, we're going to come back to it, but there, there is a warning. So, um, I've just purchased myself a field here, and I tried to flatten it out as good as possible, because we're going to put down some animal pens down here. So, if we go into animals and cows, you see now we have a Bally Spring. This is one the self-made cow shed, and we have three outdoor pastures, which is specific for Bally Springs. Now, these outdoors here all contain 500 animals. Uh, the, the biggest well, difference is the size of the pasture itself. So this is the small one, as you can see, the blueprint there, and this is the medium. And this is the large, and as you can see, they require uh, a bit of a big area. So what I'm going to do uh, for this test or tutorial, I'm going to take one with the self-made cow shed, which is a pretty pain in the back pocket to turn around. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so I'm going to place one of these uh, around here, maybe, bam, like so. And then I'm going to take one small open one, maybe around here, maybe, bam. And as you can see here on the open one, it's a bit of an annoying blue screen flashing, as you can see here. But this one you can turn off, don't worry, you can just step over here and say activate placement marker and it says on the top right corner or top left corner in your country, <laughs> circle for hide marker, boop, like so and it will disappear. So, what kind of animals do we have? And I'm on I'm on my PlayStation 5 today, just to see that. You can see the slot count. I'm not on PC. I don't have any enhanced animal system installed or anything. This is the real thing, buddies. Uh, so, I'm going to start with this one here. And if we jump into here, it can get a little bit um, complicated. Uh, but... To the, on this video, we're only going to focus on the calves. So we have female calves, Holstein. We have um, calf male, Holsteins. So that's the, the bull side of it. And then we have calf female, Angus. And then calf male, Angus. Yeah, I know. There, there's a lot <laughs> there's a lot of things but on this one the indoor here i'm gonna go with this will hold 500 so i'm thinking should we go 60 yeah let's do 60 i'm gonna buy 60 female holstein cows calves in this one bam and look at these small little babies let's see didn't i open the door here yeah look at these <laughs> oh man 
Yeah, I know. I know, I know. Uh, and on this one here, the outer one, which also can hold 500. I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna do the same um, type of uh, caps on this one. I'm just gonna see the difference between the pasture and the cow shed, so to speak. So I'm gonna do calf female also on this one. I'm gonna buy 60, bam. There we go. And now, oh, look at these beauties. Now we can jump into the menu and see what they require. So, let's jump into animals. So this is the indoor uh, calves. And as you can see, they require uh, TMR. Well, that's gonna give them 100%. But they also require uh, straw. If we go to the pasture ones, they will not require any straw. And they will not produce any manure or slurry. And uh, we, uh, another thing we're going to look at is the value. And as you can see now, when you buy a calf, it's going to cost you 200 the value on the first day is 60 on both of these. So I've written that down and we're going to see how much they are increasing in value. Uh, we're also going to look at a little bit on the uh, production of uh, manure and slurry. And on this one here, uh, just to be sure now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to place down, let's see, a silo extension. And I think I'm gonna go with the Bavarian one because that's pretty small one. Uh, let's see. Let's place that around here, maybe. Bam! This is gonna hold four million liter with manure, and you see here now zero liters. This one here, I'm gonna fill up with. We're gonna give them the best. Yeah, we are. Let's give them uh, the good stuff. Let's give them the uh, TMR. This is the Lister Tardis, which can hold, what is it, 200,000 liter. We're gonna see uh, how much food the different ones are gonna take. And uh, what I'm also gonna try to do now is also, let's go into Kauser. I'm also gonna do um, Bulls. Bull, 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 bulls. Uh, let's see. The animal trigger is there. I think this is good. So we're gonna put some uh, bulls, Angus, I think, and we're also gonna take one small outdoor one over here, maybe. Bam. So on these two, I'm gonna put in. There are two different types of um, what you call it breeding cows which will not give you milk uh, but they will increase in value so on this indoor here I'm gonna go for let's see yeah we're gonna go for the male Angus yeah we got female Angus and male Angus I'm pretty sure that the the female Angus is gonna do the exact same thing as the female Holsteins. So just to have a difference there, I'm gonna go with male Angus. I'm gonna buy 60 of those. Bam. And on the outdoor one here, also the same. 60 and as you can see the price is 300 for these and if we jump into here now we can see the value is only 92 let's see yeah male angus 92 all right i'm gonna turn off this uh, terrible light here i'm gonna jump into this one and uh, let's see now how much food this will take I 
don't tell me this is clipping through the oh yeah okay I need to I need to reorganize my <laughs> we need to do it like this way there we go that's gonna do it There we go. So let's see now. That was the cow shed. Uh, nope, it didn't get filled up. Oh man, that's a little bit irritating. There we go. All right, 133,000. And then I'm going to do the outdoor one. And let's see if there is any difference in the total capacity of the, the food trough. So there we go, I've fed them, I've given them straw and we can see a little bit how much they take and yeah as I mentioned these uh, pasture ones they don't take any straw and they will not produce any slurry, they will not produce any manure whilst these guys here in the cow barn they will produce both slurry and manure. So what I've also done here on the Angus's, Angus's, I've also placed down the manure heap. Uh, when it comes to capacity, it's actually pretty good. Um, thinking about these small little animals here, um, you think they will not eat that much, but they will actually do. <laughs> So if you start with the uh, females, uh, the females indoor, they require, a hundred, well, they don't require, the capacity is 133,000 with TMR and 121,000 with straw. The outdoor one on the pasture uh, actually has a little bit higher capacity when it comes to TMR. And as you can see, they don't produce any, well, they don't uh, require any straw. However, it says milk under conditions. Uh, will they produce milk at this age? Mm, let's see. Uh, with the males, the Angus males, it's more or less the same capacities on the food trough and also the straw one. So it's actually exactly the same. And the value I've written down the value. The value on the males, the uh, Angus, is 92 on day one. And on the females, it's 60. Now, the females and these guys here, if we walk over to the uh, animal box over here, if you see here on the calf females, it says gestation period. 10 months now what that means is in 10 months will they grow into high force or will they grow into you know grown-up cows and uh, when it comes to the um, do, 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 the angus um, they don't have any gestation period either well the uh, females have but uh, not the male ones. So will it, you know what? Don't they go up to being a really bull? <laughs> That's what we're gonna find out. So what I need now, I need myself a farmhouse, and I'm gonna use uh, a farmhouse which comes with this uh, map, and that's just a doormat, Boop, which I'm gonna place here. Uh, written down the values and now it's all about sleeping through until September All right, all right, calm down, calm down everybody. I know I know I forgot one thing before I went to bed Well, I actually did it before I went to bed and that's you know These little small babies sir They need milk of course they need milk to achieve a hundred percent productivity so I've given them milk but there is a I don't know what maybe we should call it the glitch I don't know uh, but I, I've, I tried this morning also to fill them up with milk 
and it doesn't seem to fill up to a hundred percent but anyway uh so the females uh if we jump into here now the females first of all the value of the females have gone up from 60 dollar per calf to 206 and that's the same on on the cow shed and the pasture one so if you see on the middle there the value has gone up from 60 to 206 uh, for the guys in the cow shed, they have produced 26,000 liter of slurry already. These guys here, and if we go into the manure heap, they have produced 32,000 liters of manure in one day. So these guys are, yeah, they are productive when it comes to producing slurry and manure, that's for sure um so the milk situation yeah the milk situation is a strange one uh if we jump into here you can see i have 29,000 liter in the tanker let's fire this up uh i'm not getting the option of filling it anymore and yeah that's that's what i'm talking about a glitch if you see on all of these four ones here now both the females and the males you can see the milk uh, bar is 23,020 liter, and that's the same on all four of these. So I, I cannot fill them up more than 23,020 liter with milk. So yeah, it's a strange one. It's a strange one. Um, but anyway, and the same goes with these guys the uh, male ones they are still calves and the indoor ones are making manure and slurry as you can probably see on the bottom right corner there so these guys are making manure and slurry just as the females ones. females ones. that's a good wending uh the pasture ones are not producing anything because they're not getting straw they are getting milk but they are not producing any uh, slurry and the value on these are the same as the indoor ones so what I'm gonna do now oh yeah it's time for the warning it's time for the big warning and then we need to go into here and yeah how should I do this uh, I'm gonna go into animals and I'm gonna choose um, a normal in-game cow pasture and I think I bought this field here oh there are too many animal pens <sighs> Ooh, I need to sell some first so I've sold a couple of animal pens on some other farms and now I'm choosing an in-game cow pasture um, and I'm just gonna place it there on the neighbor field which I bought like so now here's the warning um, which is um, yeah I think it's gonna need an update or two and that's something regarding visibility of uh, animals so if we jump over here now yeah there are collisions on this one <laughs> I know so if I go into this one now the Giants in-game one and I want to buy uh, let's say a calf on this one let's say five calves bam they are not visible they don't show nothing is showing here but the thing is when you go into the menu like so you can see here cow pasture five calf females even though they are not showing so how about if i jump in here and i sell these ones i want to sell them back bam and now i want to buy myself some ordinary Holstein cows, you know, in-game Holstein cows. Okay, I got five Holstein cows. They don't show up. They are invisible. I don't know what's going on here. But, yeah, it, it's kind of a strange one. 
Um, what I haven't tried, let's sell this back here now. And let's uh, demolish this one. There we go. And uh, let's try with a, uh, another modded one. Let's try, uh, let's see, a small one here. This one here, simple cow barn, 25 cows. Let's try this one. Bam. There we go. Another modern one. I know it's a little bit jumpy here, but uh, it doesn't have anything to say. Let's try a normal cow here. Five cows. And nothing. Nothing is showing. Where are the cows? So I don't. Yeah, so <laughs> if you want to do cows on this map here, specifically on Bali Springs, you're better off using only the ones that comes with the map. Um, because these guys here are not working. I need to get rid of this now and we need to move on. We are into October and day 3 and we have some interesting results and some, yeah, not to the good one actually. <laughs> First of all, these guys here are really thirsty and yeah, really thirsty. So I need to change a little bit on the testing uh, schedule here now. Um, but anyway, um, first of all, the Anguses, uh, the beef cattle, they are producing more slurry and manure than the female ones. But you know, in time, these will hopefully grow, so they will also produce uh, milk. Uh, the value on the Anguses ones are increasing more than the female ones. Um, so if we jump into here, if you see the Angus, uh, both the indoor and the outdoor have increased to 444. So that's over $100 per day. Whilst the female ones, they are only increasing in value by $62. Uh, but as you can see on the slurry, they are producing a lot of slurry, 54,000. Uh, but the uh, Angus is won 56,000, so it's not that much more. But the Anguses are definitely producing more slurry and manure, and also uh, they are increasing more in value. Now, when it comes to milk, yeah, <laughs> oh man, you know, milk, you, you need to, uh, if you start like this, you either need to have some cows producing milk or you have to buy milk. Uh, because if you see on all four of these now, the milk is empty. So all of these four ones here now have used over 20,000 liter of milk in one day. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take uh, the outdoor females and the outdoor uh, males. I'm going to give them, only them, milk. And we're going to see, now we can see, I can overload. And then we can see if we see any difference in, um, you know, uh, health. You know, the health issue on all four of these is 100%. Uh, but I, I, I want to see uh, if we see any difference in health and in value when it comes to uh, giving them milk or not giving them milk. See him out. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. There we go. Uh, do they need any food? No, it seems like the food uh, is still good. And the store situation is still good. So I'm going to go to bed again. And I'm going to see you in uh, November. At around 11. 12 o'clock. So here we are in November and it seems like um, they have um, milk but they don't. Again they have used over 20,000 liter with milk. 60 caps. So now I'm you know I'm questioning the um, 
the thing of giving them milk is even worth it uh, because yeah I, I like I said I've given milk to the outdoor caps and not to the indoor caps and looking at the value you see these are the female ones the value is exactly the same and also on the male ones the value is the same 551 so yeah i'm, I'm going to try one more day with the uh with the milk but yeah i don't think the milk situation is even worth doing that's just my opinion and uh, the female cows female calves are still calves same goes with the male ones and the same is also now the um, the male anguses are they are increasing in value be, with over a hundred dollar each per day whilst the female ones are increasing by 50 60 dollar each every day and the anguses are still producing more manure and slurry than the female ones but you know like i said I, I think once these guys here are growing into uh, cows and they will produce milk hopefully then we will see some results so it's, uh, as you see here on the outdoor, outdoor ones they are empty with uh, milk also this one there's no more milk but I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna fill them up uh, one more time one more day where what was it 23,000 liter of milk I could have sold this one let's see auto mail yeah 27,000 liter what was that more I thought the first time I was filling up the milk here it was 23 something And now it's 27? Or was it 27? Let's see the female open ones now. Yeah, 27,000 liter. Uh, food is still good. Straw is still good. I don't need to fill them up uh, more on that one. But still, you know, the, the male ones are still a winner here, actually. Alright, I'll see you in December. So we are in December and yeah, we're still getting the same results and now we can also look at the amount of food they are actually eating and that's also more or less, yeah, it's the same actually. Uh, so the females are eating the same amount of TMR as the uh, Angus ones. The Angus ones are still um, increasing more in value than the females. They are still... Uh, oh, that's a twin one. <laughs> uh, the Angus males are still producing more slurry and manure than the females. Uh, what is going on? <laughs> what is this? Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> um, oh. Um, when it comes to uh, food, if you look at these two here, the self-made cow shed, if you see at uh, the TMR, is exactly the same, 52,312. So the females and the um, males have eaten the exact same amount. When it comes to slurry, you can see on the male ones, they have produced 128,000, whilst the females have only produced 120. And the same goes with the manure. Um, the Angus ones are shitting more than females. Uh, when it comes to the milk situation, it's the same thing. <sighs> yeah, I gotta say, I don't think you need to give them uh, milk because if you look at the value between, you know, on the females one, the ones in the cow shed, and the outdoor one wins which i have given milk the value is this exact same 375 um 
and the same goes with the uh, male ones the value is the same the value on the um, the male ones are still increasing by a hundred dollar per day whilst the females are only increasing by 55 to 60 dollar per day so you know if if you're looking at um, breeding cows for you know value these are yeah these are better ones you know what i'm i think i'm gonna go I think I'm gonna go uh, skip ahead a little bit in time now. I'm um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna give them uh, straw now, and also TMR to keep them happy. And the next phase now, I think, will be most likely the uh, situation where the females are growing, hopefully, into cows. And that should happen, um, you know, in month uh, 10, which will be in, what, June? May, June or something? Yeah. Alright, I'll see you in the summer, I think. We see the trend here now, so that, that's, uh, that's a good thing. The, uh, the male ones are increasing in more in value and uh, producing more... Let's see. No, 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 no. Don't eat the dog here. Uh, the male ones are producing more um, slurry and manure, increasing more in value. But the thing is, once the females are growing into cows, they will most probably um, start to produce. Why do I have a dog here? What? I have a. <laughs> I haven't placed down the doghouse. Can I cuddle him? No. It's a wild... Oh, man. Is is this a wild dog? I can't cuddle him. I haven't placed down the doghouse. Oh, man. This is a weird one. Alright, there we go. We got food. Alright. I'll see you in the summer. So... We are in April and we have some really interesting results. Um, I've been driving back and forward, uh, feeding them, giving them straw. It's actually been pretty time consuming this one. But anyway, so females, female calves have become cows. Or have they? Oh, she's shaking the head. Because they are not really cows yet. They are something called hyphos. Uh, but the thing is here, uh, like I said, when you buy a calf, if you go in here, and you see the gestation period is t 10 months. And the puberty is 12 months. Now we are in April and we have only, you know, played the game for 8 months. And they have now grown up to hyphos, which is something in between calves and cows. But anyway, the, uh, the value has increased, but not as much as the, um, these guys here. It, the same thing has happened with the bulls. Look at these big fellows here. <laughs> now these are uh, now full grown Anguses and these will most probably just you know increase more and more in value. These guys here now are valued up to a thousand per each. Uh, when it comes to the slurry and manure I know uh, the slurry pit is full. But, you know, we know, already know now that the uh, bulls will produce more slurry and manure, so I'm, I'm neglecting that part now. Uh, but the value, a thousand. We bought these for 300 each, and now they are worth a thousand, both the, on the pasture one and also in the, cow pa uh, in the cow shed. The cows are valued at 600 now. But the interesting thing here on the cows, you can see the puberty is 66%. Uh, 
they haven't produced any milk yet. I filled up the, the food. And as you can see also in here, we got fully grown Anguses. Which, you know, now you can sell these 60 here for over 60,000. And in eight months, they have produced 319,000 liter with manure and slurry. 156,000 liter with slurry, you know, fertilizing your fields. So the interesting part now is to get these high foster. Uh, so what I'm gonna I'm gonna um, go ahead a little bit more now uh, and see if these guys will produce any milk. Phew! All right, there we go. So we have now played the game for 13 months, one year and one month, and I still haven't got one drop of milk from these little ladies sir. Uh, nor these ones. I haven't got any milk. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit puzzled, but I think I have somehow of a conclusion, so to speak. Uh, none of the either the males or females have, uh, you know, um, um, given birth to new ones. So I still got 60, 60, 60 of each. Uh, the value on the bulls are still increasing by $100 per day. Uh, the cows are still increasing by around $50 per day. And as you can see, I'm not getting any milk. Nothing. Um... So, yeah. Um, to conclude it, um, the bulls are definitely uh, a good buy uh, they are really producing manure and slurry and they are increasing value by around a hundred a hundred and ten dollar per day per bull so and the same goes for the outdoor ones outdoor the only difference is that these ones will not produce any manure or slurry um for the female ones it's a different story uh, if you want to buy um calves female calves you need to wait eight months then you will get these ones which are called hyphor and as i understand in the description here then you need to wait another 10 months for these to grow into uh, you know real Holstein uh, cows and then they will start to produce milk so to buy um, female cows yeah they are they are pretty good producing manure and slurry uh, but if you want you know to have um, uh, milk from them you have to wait up to two years before you can get some milk out of these. Uh, when it comes to the milk, giving milk to the calves, I didn't see any difference in uh, giving them milk or not giving them milk into the food trough. And yeah, if you don't have a lot of cows in another place producing milk, uh, or if you have, you know, yeah, a buy station for milk, I don't think you need to give them the calf's milk. So yeah, that, that that's yeah maybe a, a vague conclusion. But if I would have gone for um, you know ba buying myself some uh, calves, I would definitely go for uh, the bulls ones, uh, the Angus's one. After eight months, they grow into uh, real life bulls. And, you know, then you can sell them for a good profit. And, you know, if you don't want the manure and slurry, go for the pasture ones. And you will get the same amount of value. And you don't have to struggle with the manure and slurry. And you don't have to give them uh, straw. Just give them TMR. And you can be uh, a real bullfighter. 
I probably missed something here and there, but um, yeah, like I said, on the females, after 13 months, we're still not getting uh, any milk. I could have played this for another 12 months and maybe we could get some milk. Um, but c compare that one to buying uh, full grown Holsteins, which will produce milk instantly. Uh, yes, they are 1600 more expensive. But if you want to go for milk, or if you just want to have, you know, now I can also, you know, if I want, I can buy myself, you know, five little uh, babies here now. Which, oh, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Hey, buddy. <laughs> but anyway, that's my guide or tutorial to uh, caps here at Bally Springs and like I said be warm if you're placing an in-game or a modded cow pasture cow bomb uh, nothing will show up you know what I'm gonna try one more just for the sake of it let's try uh, let's try the cow shed medium this one here Bam. And uh, let's jump to this one. I, I'm, I'm just gonna... Uh, yeah, I need to check. Maybe it's some of the other ones I tried, which is not working. But I'm pretty sure it's gonna be applicable for all of these guys. Where's the trigger on this guy? It's here, uh, isn't it? Yeah. Let's buy ourselves some uh, normal grown-up Holsteins. Five of these. Now let's take 60. 45. Bam. Nothing. Nothing inside. Nothing outside. No cows. Nothing at all. But they are showing here. So, yeah. Uh, it's, um, it's a visual thing. But anyway, um, yeah, it's always nice. I'm, I'm, I'm probably gonna do, hopefully, a, a let's play on this map. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna do it on my PC or my PlayStation yet. Uh, if I'm gonna do some more tutorials on the other animals like piglets and chicks and all of these things, goats, we'll see. Uh, I'm still in my vacation period. I'm recalling this after my kids have gone to bed. So it's really late in the evening. <laughs> and it's taking some time to do this. But anyway, thanks for watching and bye bye.